Hello everybody, Even G here. Welcome back to another episode of Resistance 3. Uh, whoa, am I, how early am I recording this? Usually I record around 8 o'clock. And it is... 7.06. Okay, um... Welcome back <laughs> to another episode of Resistance 3. This might be the last episode. If I could finish the last level that quickly, this might be the last episode. See ya! Too many snipers. Why am I using the mark? Out of all things I could have used ever, I used. <sighs> oh, they have shields! Holy crap, I'm an idiot. Like, <sighs> and I wonder how my marksman rifle ammo goes low. Oh no, I see him. Now I'm way over there, freaking staring at me. I'm gonna burn him. Burn him out. Did he just like jump on me, but I shot him? Like, that was a little weird. Where is he? There. What are you aiming at? Bruh. Checkpoint re. Alright. Right. Do you got any health by any chance? There has to be some health around right there. No? I don't really care. What are you shoot? What are you shooting at? Yeah, miss me? <laughs> what? Okay, I think he's turning insane. <laughs> miss me? Yeah. <laughs> What are you shooting at? Is my game glitched out? Oh, I see. This thing is bad. Why were you sh uh, you sh and you shot at a wall for it? Why did you shoot at the wall? Oh my gosh, you're an idiot. Okay, let's go. We gotta find a way through this door. I'm thinking we take down those shields and we can override the door controls. Always take down shield walls to access door. Do I have to take down some power rods access for? Oh, there they are. Wait a minute. How do we unlock the shield to unlock the access rods? I rods. No. Oh, we have to just wait till there's enemies, and then we kill them all. <laughs> okay, that's that usually is what 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 we have to do. Kill enemies and then everything everything's alright. Am I right? Oh jeez. Okay, this guy needs to go fast. That's not him. That's an ogre. Shoot. I can't find his stupid shield thing. There we go. Sorry, I had to use the, I I just had to use all of it. I would have used my rosemary because look how close it is. It's only one away from up upgrading. So maybe in this episode. Probably actually. Taking too long. Oh, now we gotta do the other side over. No, no enemies? Okay! Oh! There they are. Okay. He 
think they're on to us. We've only been in here for like 20, 20, 30 minutes, so I, I think they're on to us too. And we have been like wrecking their whole base thing. If we kill, oh, I was about to say, if we kill this guy, this gun's gonna upgrade. I can't tell who's the guy with the arc launcher here. I think it's this guy. We will kill him though, because he will do too much damage to us. I'm gonna hide because I know this guy's gonna take me out. Oh shoot, did I just die? Crap, no, I didn't. No! Probably can. Let me just um, refill an ammo here. Or not. Let's see where this takes us. Yeah, let's see what this takes us. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. But okay. Really? Thanks, Charlie. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. But okay. Really? Thanks, Charlie. You're the best. Oh, that's a little strange. Oh, there's health. There's health. All right, see ya. It, we just got full ammo for everything, <laughs> except for the freaking marksman. Oh, thanks, bro. This is Susan Capelli, and this message is for my husband, Joe. I hope I'm not too late. Joe, I'm sorry I told you to leave. I believed that there was a chance. Or maybe I just wanted to believe there was a chance. But after hearing you on the radio, I didn't want you to go. Alright, shut up, I'm gonna save the world now. Oh, final chapter. The promise. We could probably finish this, I bet. I will, honey. I will, honey. Whoa, look at this thing. Isn't that awesome? That's just cool. That's just, oh crap, no, no, that's not cool. No. I'm coming, Susan. Pull out a parachute. <sighs> I think we can do this in 20 minutes. I think we can do this. I believe do I I think I did this before in 20 minutes. I'm not too sure. But yeah, guys, this is it. The promise. Kind of kind of got brought down when we died. <laughs> but this gun will be upgraded in the time being. Goodbye, Charlie. Go talk to Elias. Oh, I entered the terrapin. Oh, wrong game? Oh, great. Okay. Oh, sledgehammer. Can we sledgehammer these? Woo! That was easy. This is the final room, and then we're done. Like, this is... Okie dokie. Yep, I know. There we go. Oh, crap, what's hitting me? What is hitting me? Oh, it's drones! No, we gotta take the drones out right away, or else we are screwed. Drones take you out too much, man. There's another, there's an, oh crap, this is the final battle. I'm scared. I'm scared for dear life. Give me health. No? But as you can see, there's a butt ton of rods. I'm not, I'm not even kidding me. And they are freaking knockback times 70 rods or something like that. I don't know. That's why. This guy. I forgot about him. Oh. Oh, 
jeez. No, guys, let's see them. Okay, okay, I know what to do here. There's health in these little rods. See? You just gotta get to these little health things. And then you should be good to take this guy out, honestly. Did he just go out? No, I think this is it, actually. Okay. Next little health thing. Oh, you just gotta take out those sides of him. Is he dead? Woo! We took him out fast, didn't we, guys? Usually it takes me a while to take out those guys, but, you know, for him, it was pretty easy. Um, <laughs> okay, alright, just destroy all of these rods. All of them rods. Okay. Um, these rods aren't open. I don't know how to open them. I think we have to go take out these rods first. Uh, I'm not gonna even touch you or play with you, because I don't like you. You don't need head. He shields it, he's like, no, I must resist. No, you will resist. Or you will not resist? Oh, then. There we go. Okay, we took a freaking beating just staring at him. <laughs> it's so pretty. Woo! I think that yeah. No problem, old Yeah. Um. This I usually I it takes me like two tries to do this whole room, but I knew what to do right away, so that's pretty good. This is where this level gets. Wait, isn't my marksman upgraded? <laughs> Where do I? Whoa. This is when, oh, shoot that son of a gun. Oh no, oh no, oh, my marksman. That wasn't mine anyways. This is where it gets epic unlimited ammo time. Ooh, let's get back up here, shall we? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, no hope. Susan. Susan. Ugh. Ah. No. Ah, for Susan. Ah. Uh, I think it has unlimited power and unlimited distance, uh, actually. That's what I like about this. This little end segment. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Ew, get away from me. Ah! What am I hanging off of? Oh. Okay. <laughs> ah! It's a good way to upgrade your magnum, too. I'm not even joking, this is freaking intense. No! Oh gosh! Oh! No! Ugh! Ugh! Oh, that big guy had to land with us. Hello? You will perish! No, my Magnum! I'm coming for you, big guy. Oh, that's not awesome. Oh, how the hell did they get in there? Alex, get us out of the city!
attention residents of Baxter Springs. We're getting reports from all over the East Coast. Something happened in New York City. Some kind of bright flash in the sky. Maybe an explosion. Some folks are saying the whole city is gone. Let's hope that's not true. But get this. They say the sun is now shining and temperatures are rising. It's already 62 in Philadelphia, 63 in Rochester. weird kind of PlayStation thing, giving it to you like you beat the difficulty. Nah. But we beat the game, guys. If you guys didn't notice that song that played when, uh, this is Patrick Canfield, broadcasting from Spearfish, South Dakota. We've taken back the town. We have Aaron Branch from Gainesville, Florida. We killed a hundred Chimera today. Lost seven brave fighters. Frank Blacker, Christopher Leone. Liam Andrews here from Wicklow, Ireland. The road to Dublin is now open. Medical supplies are being stocked at local this farms. This is Camila Bernardes, broadcasting from São Bento, Brazil. The Chimera are recruiting. My name is Felix Schenk from Luzern, Switzerland. Today is a good day. Well, I'm going to win one. Oh, the coup in now. So I have all got our little push here. Which is the way from here, Boris Kanten. I have all got our little push here. So as you guys can see, the world is getting back to normal. The Chimera are retreating because of the New York Tower. And look at that. We already have the U.S. back on board. Is that like how much the U.S. Is? I don't know, but as you can tell by the music that played in that last cutscene, that was the music in my outro, and that's my favorite song in the whole game. I don't know, I think it's just freaking epic. But, I have to say, oh. This series is gonna have a pretty sad ending, honestly. Like, we, like this is the end of Resistance. Like, I don't. I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be another game after this, unless they're prequels. But we saved the world practically. Me and Nathan Hale saved the world, and thank goodness for that. Um, this has just been an amazing series. Uh, I'm kind of sad that it's over. Oh. Unless they make a fourth one, Insomniac. Wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, but this this was just an epic ending to a, to a great game. I just oh look at that! They're rebuilding the Statue of um, Liberty. I was gonna say happiness, <laughs> but um, yeah. So this game is just I I'm probably gonna um yeah I'm probably gonna well I'm probably <laughs> I'm probably gonna finish uh, randomness in GTA, and then I'll wait till Advanced Warfare comes out, and then I'll start doing a blind let's play that. Maybe I'll try to get a face cam working. And Halloween is coming up next week, so that means horror games. Ugh, horror games. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this series. This has been fun. A very very awesome series. I can't believe it's over. Oh my gosh. But anyways. Be sure to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe for more. My name is Ethan GV. This has been Resistance 3. And I'm out. Peace.